Well, good evening wherever you are on this most pleasant evening. Hello, everybody. As you can see, there's been uh, a terrific match. atmosphere here. There is great expectation, Egypt. excitement, and Against it has built Uruguay. nicely in these idyllic conditions. Conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambiance. It's quite a struggle to get in here. Points of access hard to come by, and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates but regardless of that there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead so what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game he's having a shot just off target Oh, good read. It's a pretty loose pass. Jimenez gets it away. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Nice interception. His positioning was spot on. Could move up a gear here. That's good running with the ball. Well, that's beautifully weighted. He's, He's had a hit! Goal! Uruguay! And Uruguay take the lead! And he stuck it away as if laser-guided. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. After 15 minutes is... Number nine, Luis Suarez. Uruguay take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. They're back in possession and ready to go again. Look at the space here. Great position. There's the shot. It's a goal. They're level, level in a trice. Well, going behind has simply triggered a collective determination to hit back, and they merit nothing less. It was a great finish. He put it away with great poise, dead-eye accuracy. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through them. That was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. Footballing width usually identifies with running room, and we've just seen a prime example. Well, that has caused disappointment to some, unsurprisingly, and disgust to others. What a waste. And they're quick to get it back. Oh, that's a key interception. Played out towards the right wing. Mohamed Salah. Can he finish? It's run loose. Who's going to get there? No, he's taken off it, that's really well played. Sends it forward. Oh, what a... Mustafa Mohamed! Now, who's going to... And the follow-up. Bentancur. Poor pass, that. Sloppy. Mustafa Mohamed, out to the left it goes. There will be he is, Richard, a shot! 
And here's the chance to counter. And there's the end of the first half. What it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. Have to look back on the so first 45 minutes. Look, this match promised goals, and it certainly hasn't let us Please down. It's been really, really entertaining. During the match at all times. Well, that's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. Second period then underway. Egypt can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. And it's dealt with by the outrushing keeper. Over to the left. Oliveira. Bassino. Valverde, this is good pressing, they're not short on bodies. Uruguay needed that, they really needed it. Well, that tackle was immense, and so... He's tried one! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Defense. Oh, good ball. Mohamed Salah. Shot could be on. And the shot! Goal! Egypt! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Substitution in progress. So here comes the substitution. Egypt had a foul. Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And the referee has shown him a yellow card.
Mohamed Salah. Spread out to the left. Mustafa Mohamed. Foot in. Chance to break. Fiddles it through. No, that's been intercepted. Oh, that's frustrating. The pass just wasn't good enough. Well seen. Saw that coming. Not many. And it's Salah. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Well, they've got it back in a hurry. Real chance! They may end up with some regret with this tactic, but you have to admire their commitment to goals. Substitutions taking place. Now the finish! It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. And Uruguay could counter here. Threads one in. Oh, and he's through the middle. He's in eight. Nunez! Should have equalised. I think he rushed that. He had a bit more time than he realised. He could so easily have equalised there. To the last five minutes almost there and the players can feel it Mohamed Salah Egypt can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock I think gets his pass away there is Luis Suarez added time. oh shooting chance it's in we thought it was over, it's all square once more. As simple as you like, the outcome utterly inevitable. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure the to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Number nine, Luis Suarez. So all square with almost no time remaining. Torreira. Nice little ball through. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. And that will be the final act. Passion and panache and perseverance and in the end parity. A really good game to watch. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Egypt can always take more positives from a result like this. Yes, the there is some tidying up to do, but some real fund. promise Chance too. In football. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.